What's up gamers? In today's video, we're going over the best ways to improve your snapping capabilities with a few simple tips that will transform you from this. Oh. Oh no. Holy f I am terrible to this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I still oh, want I First of all, why should you listen to my advice? Well, cuz. Yes. Not for real though, I've been sniping exclusively on Call of Duty for the past 13 years and I've been touched by God. Not in a weird way, of course. Number one, settings. Before you do anything, make sure to head over to the FOV slider. You gotta make sure it's not lower than at least 95. If you put it lower, you are what the kids nowadays refer to as an NPC. Just set it to 110, that's kinda like the sweet spot. Not too much, not too little. Now, let's talk sensitivity. I personally use keyboard and mouse, but this tip goes for aim assist and joys too. Whatever your normal rig gun sensitivity is, you want it slightly higher. I rock 1200 dpi, 3.8 cents. I can always tell it's right when I can't hit my enemies anymore with a normal weapon. You'll know your sense is too high when you over flick your targets and it feels uncomfortable for you. This will also be crucial for your movement, but more of that later in the video. Number 2. Pick a sniper. What's that baby girl? Huh? You can't snipe? Oh, shit. I always use overkill so I can equip two at the same time. This will make you able to hit massive clips for a maximum neuron activation. If you face off another sniper, it's a gentleman's agreement to battle it out as snipers. No one likes a pistol whipper. No, you pistol whip me! Is this you? So how do you decide what sniper you want to use? The longbow is the best for close range fights, it has the fastest fire rate, but it sucks at long range. KB is a good all around sniper, but it hit markers a lot. Cat one shots to the whole body, even the tippy toes, but it has the lowest fire rate. So slow in fact that you can probably start a family of 5 before it reaches chambers. I suggest you just try out different ones and see which ones you like more. Number 3. Utilizing movement. As a sniper, your movement is gonna be very important. You wanna be fast like the Flash, deadly as a Cobra, slick like Michael Jackson, just don't touch kid. MW3 is infested with campers, and to maximize your chances of winning a duel, you need to slide or jump to come out on top. Oh, hell no. <gasps> if you miss a shot, you also have to make yourself a hard target to kill to buy time for your sniper to fire off another shot. Oh my god! Number 4. Peeking corners. If you miss a shot and you know the opponent is holding the angle, don't peek the same corner again. Instead, take a different route and find another 1v1. And just like before, if you want to reach out, you gotta maximize your chances of getting another shot off through a jump or a slide to throw off his aim. If it's a sniper holding the angle, you also have the option to jiggle peek to make him shoot first so you have the advantage in case he re-peeks the angle. This is commonly used in games like Veteran and CS and it's where I learned it from. Number 5. Learn the timing of the rechamber. A very important step is to learn the rechambering speed of your sniper rifle. Unlike the funny business, if you know what I mean, you want to be as fast as possible in case you run into multiple enemies at once. <gasps> Getting double teamed is rough and you want to be prepared for it. Number 6. Minimap is your best friend. This has got to be the most important tip in the entire video. I'm not lying when I say I probably look at the minimap 40% of the time. The information you get from it is so valuable that you gotta learn how to use it effectively. You gotta be like Cooper from Interstellar. You wanna be behind the wall in the fifth dimension. The enemies think you're hacking because you always know where they are. Except when they use ghost. Stupid mother Oh, God. This was just fucking shit up. I reported you for cheating, pussy. Who are you Russia. talking to? The, the, the type dude. Number 7. Best tip. If you are sniping aggressively and are going for dank MLG quad feeds but struggle to fill up that juicy kill feed, you might be wondering, why am I never hitting any clips? Give me quad feed please. The hard truth is, you suck. But don't worry bro, I got you bro. I'm gonna share my biggest 200 IQ mastermind Stephen Hawking string theory tactic with you. Find a route that works in the lobby you play in. Let me explain. The enemy spawn is your destination. You play hardpoint, but that is not your objective, good sir. You want to find the best path to the spawn that minimizes your chance of getting killed. Wow, look at that. Six enemies in my scope? It's free real estate. Oh! 
<laughs> Dude, the whole team was there, man. Make sure to like this video as it helps with the algorithm and subscribe. Feeling so tall, like could give a high five to the pilot. Yeah, family tight, I keep small circle like island. Whoa, inbox full of contracts, I sign with a stylist.